This video is a server installation setup guide for customers who have just placed an order for the CRM for Outlook add-on for SAP Business One from Boyum IT. First, open your mailbox and find the access email for the Boyum IT partner portal, which you should have received. In this email, you'll find a username, password, and a link to the portal. Click the link or paste it into your browser and log into the portal using the credentials provided. Once logged in, you'll arrive at the dashboard. Press Manage Subscriptions and then Create New Subscription and then enter your subscription name, select Outlook as your product, enter the number of users and press Create. You've now created the subscription and can proceed with downloading the server or B1 connector and the publisher profile or subscription. Go to the subscriptions page by clicking the Manage Subscriptions link in the menu on the left and click the Manage button. In the bottom left corner, under the Setup heading, click the B1 Connector link to download the latest version of CRM for Outlook and save the file to your desktop. Now, Underneath the B1 Connector link on the Subscriptions page, press the button Download Publisher Profile and save the file to your desktop. You now have the server.exe file and subscription.sub file ready for installation. First, double click and run the server.exe file, accept the license terms and choose the install path. We'd recommend that you use the default location for this. Let the installation finish and then the Manage Subscriptions window will appear. Click the Add New Subscription button and then the Browse button and navigate to the desktop to locate the subscription.sub file that you saved there previously. Select this file and press the Open button and then the Next button. You'll now be asked for your cloud login details. These are the portal login credentials that you received in the email. Enter these details and click Login and a message box will say Login OK. Press the Next button and it's now time for the database setup. You'll need the following information for this. Database server, license server and port, database type, database username and database password. Enter all of this information and press the Test Connection button. If the details are correct, then a message box will say Database Connection OK. Press the Next button and you'll arrive at the Database Information window, where you can see an overview of the available SAP Business One databases. Enter the username and password in the columns of the databases that you want your users to connect to. If the details are correct, then the Status column will say OK. Once all of these details have been entered, Press the Finish button and a message box will say Subscription Updated. Press the OK button and a message box will ask you if you want to restart the server. Click Yes and then click Close on the Manage Subscriptions window and you've now successfully installed the server.